dear students uh, this time we are going to understand second criteria uh, decision making under risk that is eol expected opportunity loss you can choose any one of the criteria unless uh, it has not been said in the question so you can go with any criteria if it has been specified in the question then you have to follow any of the criteria whatever has been said in the question so it is imperative to understand both both the criteria because uh, most of the times uh, these criteria are asked by name that uh, take the decisions by emv or take uh, decision with the help of eol so both the criteria you need to know so we have understood emv expected monetary value now we are going to understand eol expected opportunity loss now we are going to apply this criteria for the same problem which we have taken in uh, on the case of emv so uh, that uh, newspaper and uh, uh, that uh, that question let me uh, give the brief uh, background of the question in that question uh, news uh, some newspapers are to be purchased and they are sold on the buses and if uh, one newspaper is purchased it costs 25 rupees and if it is sold it can be sold at 40 paise uh, 25 paise and if it is sold at it can be sold at uh, 40 paise so profit per uh, newspaper is uh, 15 paise and these are the anticipated uh, these are the demands 15 16 17 18 19 20 and these are the probabilities of each demand and these are the anticipated uh, stocks or you can say these are the course of actions and these are the events and uh, now uh, this we have calculated in previous questions question also that was that is a conditional payoff table by considering that uh, each demand and each uh, course of action we calculated each payoffs so this is conditional payoff table and uh, now for applying uh, eul criteria you have to calculate one more thing that is expected uh, that is expected opportunity loss table so before expected opportunity loss table you have to calculate opportunity loss table so opportunity loss table how we calculate opportunity loss opportunity loss means again it is regret that we have uh, done in the case of decision making under uh, uncertainty with the regret criteria what we used to do along each states of nature we have uh, written uh, we, we, uh, we used to write uh, maximum payoff so this we will do again along each states of nature the maximum payoff we will write here so here in this uh, the maximum payoff is 225 here the maximum payoff is 240 here the maximum payoff is 255 here the maximum payoff is 270 here the maximum payoff is 285 and here the maximum payoff is 300 now we will write opportunity loss instead of now we will convert this payoff table into opportunity loss table so this is opportunity loss table or regret table both are the synonymous term but here we will use this term opportunity loss opportunity loss table how we will calculate opportunity loss table each payoff along each states of nature will be subtracted from this maximum value for example 225 minus 225 0 225 minus 200 225 minus 175 225 minus 150 in the same way here 240 minus 225 240 minus 240 240 minus 215 so in the in the same way all the opportunity loss are calculated and uh, this will become opportunity loss table so here i am going to write uh, uh, directly because i have calculated earlier to save time so i am writing direct um, directly and i suggest you to check the calculation do it by yourself and then match the calculation if there is any difference then let me know 15 30 40 so 
फाइव देन सिक्सटी देन सेवेंटी फाइव यू कैन नोट डाउन अलॉन्ग विद मी देन ट्वेंटी फाइव देन जीरो देन फिफ्टीन देन थर्टी देन फोर्टी फाइव देन सिक्सटी now uh, it is 50 it is uh, 75 it is 100 it is 125 here it is 25 here it is 50 it is 75 and here it is 100 now here it is 0 25 50 and 75 now here it is so uh, 15 0 25 and 50 now it is uh, 30 15 0 25 Now here it is forty five, thirty, fifteen, and zero. So now you can because I have told you how to calculate. Now you can calculate and match the values also. So this is opportunity loss table. Now in uh, uh, next step, we will calculate expected opportunity loss table. So I as I told you that in uh, the terminology of decision theory. uh whenever the term expected comes so it means that payoffs are multiplied or uh, regrets are multiplied with probability so there's something which is multiplied with probability whenever the term expected comes so you you uh, need to assume that there is something which has been multiplied with probability this is the reason expected term has come so now in next uh, uh, step we will calculate expected opportunity loss table how to calculate All these probabilities will be multiplied. So, for example, point zero four into zero, point zero four into twenty five, point zero four into fifty, point zero four into seventy five, point zero four into hundred, point zero four into one twenty five. In the same way, sixteen into point uh point one nine into fifteen, point one nine into zero. So, in the same you know, when you calculate all these things, so you will get these values. You will get these values. you will get these values we have just uh, multiplied we have just multiplied all the probabilities with opportunity loss along the states of nature so it has become now it has become expected expected opportunity loss table expected opportunity loss table it has become expected opportunity loss table right uh, now we will calculate E O L for each course of action. E O L for each course of action means that now we will add all the expected opportunity loss along the course of action. So these all will be summated here. So if we sum all these, so it is six thirty six point three. It is twenty two. Uh, point nine zero. It is seventeen point one zero. it is 24.50 it is 42.30 it is 64.50 now see 36.30 22.90 17.10 24.50 42.30 64.50 
now the minimum among these eul remember in the case of emv we used to take maximum emv here we will take minimum emv so minimum emv is this this is the minimum value of eul this is the minimum value of sorry this is the minimum value of eul so it is corresponding to 70 so we will write answer 17 copy of newspaper should be purchased newspaper should be purchased if you remember if you remember in the case of e e e emv the same answer was there and the, in the case of eul the same answer is there uh, only the difference is that in the case of emv we uh, calculate with the help of uh, payoff table we multiply payoff uh, with probability it becomes expected monetary value and then we uh, that becomes expected payoff table and then we sum all the pay expected payoff along the course of action it becomes expected monetary value and the and the alternative corresponding to maximum emv is taken as decision here what we have done we have uh, calculated uh, first we have calculated opportunity loss table and then we calculated expected opportunity loss table then uh, we summed all the eul uh, expected opportunity loss along the course of action and the minimum summation of eul the minimum eul is taken as a decision criteria so now uh, i think it is clear to you i suggest you one more thing just uh, write the steps write the steps this is uh, i suggest you write the steps of emv and ua steps of emv calculate conditional payoff table this is the first step second step calculate expected payoff table third step is calculate emv for each alternative fourth is select alternative corresponding to maximum emv and fifth right answer this last step is very important because most of the times the student leaves the questions uh, after just indicating that this is the maximum emv no that is not our answer answer is that which alternative you have selected so that should be written properly so this is the last step right answer now steps of eul calculate conditional payoff table this is the similar if it is not given in the question and uh, uh, some information is given then you have to calculate payoff payoffs so you have to calculate conditional payoff table then calculate opportunity loss table how to calculate opportunity loss uh, the maximum along each states of nature maximum emv is noticed and from each uh, from maximum emv all the payoffs are subtracted so it becomes opportunity loss then calculate expected opportunity loss table here we multiply probability uh, with each opportunity loss and then we sum along the course of action and then uh, calculate eul for each alternative and select uh, next step is select alternative corresponding to minimum eul and six is right answer i think it would be clear too and these steps will help you so i suggest you to practice this question by yourself and then we will uh, practice some more questions also. Thank you.